There were six cowboys in here a minute ago. yourself to play. Trisha. Trevor. My thoughts are with you. See, uh, Mark, you treat you well? You ever. You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Patricia, I really miss you. I have to go. Hitchhikers. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the light house. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell, and I don't really have anyone to call. Not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me, but how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay. What? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. Oh, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me, living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. Did you no. not see me? The house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my projects so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes. You've got feet. Am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ear. Wrong.
long. But what about shoes that look like feet? Ugh, you mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet. That's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet. Shoes that look like feet. Feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because, you know, you can buy those already. No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you're okay? Are you okay? Because this guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay. He choked to death on his own hand. Yeah, okay, it's official. You're crazy. This is it. Thank you. Here's my number. Will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you. I hear your lover left us. Yeah. What's with that? I thought you were gonna get rid of him for me. More of my men die, Mr. Phillips. I have put them on your account. You will soon have to pay. No, well, I'm good for it, pal. You know where to find me. I don't know how to work this. You're ready to get freaky? Now isn't a good time. I've been binging on soil again. I am currently on holiday in the United States of America. If you are telephoning from England, I will return your call as soon as I fathom the plus sign on this mobile. I just hope that broke your goddamn neck. Yeah. Yeah, put him up. Oh, 
It's you. What are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божьей. Fellow can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus. Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in. Get in. Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Completely. Loco. If you'll forgive my use in Spanish, you do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. I can just tell by looking at you. We had our eye on this fella for a while. Illegal farming, bartering of goods, deep into a shadow economy. Okay, get me a cloak so I can incapacitate him humanely. boys. <laughs> now head for the C-Man factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. <laughs> You won't get away with this. I report you. <laughs> you want to report me? Careful. <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. We have an officer set on fire in, uh, West, not showing us. Border Patrol, no money. There, there on the bike. Step on it, Trevor. Well, no act of admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members me. or child molesters. Oh, look at them. Where's the moral code, huh? Half the country's on spring break, while the other half's murdering each other for cocaine. How do people like you still assist? We'll come back for them. Don't let the other one get away. A vehicle theft. Citizens report. Die, beauty. Uh, Western Alamo. Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes. All right, fellas. Well, let's go back for the other one. I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. What? Go car, go now. Okay. Jesus. Go, go, fucker, go. Take it easy, I'm going, I'm going. Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take... 
Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. So I just get left here? You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Big man! We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're Hey! Here's an old man who might hit back! I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you... I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me.
Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to, but you gotta help. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's going to let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us. The suits. And they don't even wear suits. Wolves in turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport. Talk to me. That's it. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today... Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Attention to the first unit. Requesting a VIP escort from the Somali show. Destination is the East Hangar at Los Santos International. Oh, shit.
What's she doing? Michelle, there is no need to panic. The LSPD are here to escort you to the hangar.
I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. Wow. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Oh, okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Tracy are, like, freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No, I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. here if you need me. The producer does not drive crazy. himself to the premiere. Come on! Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a mo You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll, uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And, uh, have you ever, uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has, uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. There Enjoy the picture, everyone! <laughs> 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 
Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Just go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I got to go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Hello. The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed him? You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. Okay. He'll be fine. You're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just... Extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Sweet. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girl. Daddy's home, Please, you, you are... prick. Ah, Mom, I'm Mrs. Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leave! Frag out! Not yet! Stay put! Stand it up! Neither do I. Just keep I calm. I cover me, asshole. Die! Find the cover. Ah, Back up! Yeah, get that Give sand, motherfucker. Gonna kill you. Mommy. 
gone. Oh. Got you, dick. Oh. 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 Be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get Ooh. the fuck off me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. I'm gonna be using your car. gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Making me crazy. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. 
Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, I can't say I was too impressed with Kareem on the Bureau Raid. But he could have a better idea of what we need now, and he's still cheap. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Mr. Abalaji, is solid. You take him on a job, just don't ask him about the psychiatric industry. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Sometimes I miss the sunlight. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? 
I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy!
Michael. Yeah. So we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Watch the fuck out, will ya?
Just pop what the truck over the there. You think you'll do? All right, Lester. Drills at the lot. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Just an online persona! I, it was satire or parody or something! I didn't mean it! Jim? You're taking me up Banum Canyon? In this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king and bleeder. 
is my kingdom. Okay. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole! my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. <sighs> you can have like a sane person? Are you fucking crazy? Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't fun. Oh man! You entitled piece of shit! Jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts a picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one of the ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle to... Fuck me! Miracle to survive birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly... Enough! All right, keep fucking up. I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah. Good times, great times, the fucking fun you have. The troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while. Up, and don't wind people house. up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Right. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? Hmm. 